So this company, Takata, built airbags that killed people instead of saving them. To understand this story better, we have to go back to 2004. A person driving a Honda gets in an accident, and when the airbag deploys, it doesn't just inflate, it explodes. Metal comes shooting out of it, and it hits the driver in the face. Takata, the airbag company, hears about this, and they're like, we should probably look into this. But they do this sneakily. They conduct secret tests after work hours and when nobody is watching. They grab 50 old airbags from junkyards, and they test them. What they find is metal inside the airbags which means whenever the airbags deploy they're going to shoot metal just like a grenade when the engineers see this they start panicking and they're like we need to fix this we need to issue a recall right now but then the executives step in and instead of fixing the problems they tell the engineers to destroy everything delete the test data erase the video footage and throw the airbag parts in the trash make it all disappear and then they just go back to business as usual selling millions of these airbags to every major car company in the world four years goes by and the problem isn't getting any better they finally issue a recall in 2008 for only 4,000 airbags. At this point, millions of these airbags are being used globally. They don't tell governments about this. They don't mention the deaths. They don't do any of the big recalls they should be doing. They hope nobody notices. But people keep getting hurt. In 2009, a driver in Oklahoma dies. In 2014, a pregnant woman in Malaysia gets in a small car crash and her airbag deploys. A metal fragment slices into her neck and she dies. Three days later, her baby dies too. And this keeps happening over and over again. Finally, in 2014, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, they're like, okay, something's going on here. We have to look into this. So they start investigating. And that's when everything starts coming out. The secret tests from 2004, the deleted data, the cover up, all of it. And senators are calling for criminal investigations. And the recalls start getting bigger and bigger. First, it's 3.6 million airbags, then 28 million, then 42 million. It becomes the largest automotive recall in American history. Even after all this comes out, car companies keep installing these airbags in brand new cars, like 2016 and 2017. Because these companies have already bought the airbags and they figure they'll just recall them later but by 2017 Takata can't handle it anymore they owe more in recalls and lawsuits than they're worth as a company so they file for bankruptcy the U.S. government charges three Takata executives with fraud and conspiracy as of 2024 over 100 million airbags worldwide have been recalled what makes this even worse is some of those airbags that were issued between 2001 and 2003 have a 50% chance of exploding in a crash you're literally safer without an airbag at that point and millions of these cars are still on the road. People driving without knowing that they have a Claymore mine in their steering wheel. Some car companies have issued do not drive warnings. Like don't even drive your car to the dealer. Have it towed. The worst thing is Takata knew about this in 1999 before the first accident even happened. They knew the airbags were unstable. They knew it could kill people. But they used it anyways because it was cheaper. And when they got caught, they destroyed the evidence and they kept selling them for four more years. All that to save a few dollars. So yeah, the thing that's supposed to save your life ended up being the thing that killed you and the company knew the whole time.